Welcome back everyone, my name is Joe and today I'm going to be showing you how you can update your Minecraft server to the latest version of Minecraft. So currently uh, the current version of Minecraft is 1.11 and I have a server what is 1.10.2 and you can see that here, home server. It is just a local host server and it's currently running in the background as you see here. And as it says on um, one of the top lines, um, starting Minecraft server version 1.10.2. So then I'm going to show you how you can update it the quickest way and some precautions you want to might you might want to take while you're updating the server. So then first thing you want to do is actually uh, save the server. So this will save the world properly and then we want to type in stop. Don't click X or anything. You want to shut the server down properly by doing uh, or just typing stop into the console. Press enter. The server shuts down properly, doesn't crash, nothing like that. Then the next thing is we need to get the updated jar file. So when you're going to come to minecraft.net, a link is down in the description. While you're there, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. It helps out a lot. So yeah, click on the link to minecraft.net and then you want to come to menu, then download. I'll actually probably put just the straight download link in the description to save you uh, all the hassle. Uh, when you're on the actual download page, uh, you'll be given the actual download for the jar file. So just down here, uh, download Minecraft underscore server point one point eleven dot jar. We're going to download that. So we'll just let that download. And there we go. Uh, it it does say this can harm your computer. It won't harm your computer as long as you're downloading it from the legitimate website from Minecraft where you buy the game. There should be no problems at all. Then the next thing is you want to come into the folder where you have your server and drop in the new jar file. So mine does have a little extra one. But your jar or your new file should say Minecraft underscore server point one point eleven dot jar. And that is a new one. As you see in this um, folder, we already have a Minecraft underscore server. When we are here, we want to actually delete the old jar file. So we only have the new jar file in here. Now as if we look in a run.bat file, you'll see here it's looking for a jar file called minecraft underscore server dot jar. And as you see here, that name right there it does not match because it has the numbers on the end. So we need to rename the jar file to match this. So we're just going to copy that. When it comes over to the jar file, right click, rename, and rename it to minecraft underscore server dot jar. So now we don't have the numbers on the end. So now it's like that. We are ready to restart the server. Now you do have a choice at this. When you're going to like let's say so 1.10.2 was a previous update to 1.11. Normally servers will update absolutely fine. If you're jumping big gaps so let's say you're updating a 1.7 server to a 1.11 server. What I suggest is you simply copy your build folder. So I'm going to copy it and just paste it onto your desktop or into another folder somewhere. So as you see there, I have the folder. That's just, you don't have to do it, uh, but if you are doing massive update uh, leaps, uh, it might be very useful just in case if something happens to your world. So now we are ready to start up the server. So we're going to let it start up. And as you see here, starting Minecraft server version 1.11 and nothing went wrong, so that's good. So we can go back to Minecraft and when we press refresh, our home server or my home server is up and running. So now you can carry on uh, playing in the new version of Minecraft. So that is it. Now if you have a bucket server, or, or sorry, bucket or spigot server, it follows the same process, swapping out the jar files just with the jar file you need. But no, hopefully that has helped you guys for updating your server. And uh, yeah, so make sure you subscribe, like, favourite, go and follow me on Twitter. Please always suggest ideas down in the comments and feel free to ask for any help. Uh, I'm there to help you. And I will see you next time. So thanks a lot and I'll see you later.